Hey guys, welcome back. And today I want to talk about wrist snap. Wrist snap is such an important component of the whip and just the pitch in general. It creates so much of the speed and the spin behind the pitch. It's so important to, to make sure we're having correct wrist snap. So if we start in a forearm fire position, we're in our palm up, elbow down position, leading from the elbow. What's going to happen is we're going to lead from that elbow for as long as possible. And then we get forward forward and upward wrist snap right by that front leg and then the hand naturally turns over all by itself nice and relaxed and goes out to the end of the throw zone pointing at our target. There is a really common issue that I've actually been seeing more and more lately and it happens mostly in pitchers who also happen to throw a flip change up and a peel drop which is one of the reasons we teach usually not the flip change up and not the peel drop. Um, but it's really common. And what the pitchers and parents will say to me is, you know, I feel like our fastball mechanics are good. We're just not seeing all that much speed and spin on the pitch. And they'll send me a video and I'll look at it in slow motion. So just to recap, here's what we want our snap to look like. Arm circle leading from the elbow, forward and upward wrist snap, extension out to the target. And what I will see in these pitchers is they'll go through their arm circle. They'll, they'll start in the palm up, elbow down position, but as they get further down the back of the arm circle, the hand will start to turn and they'll deliver like this in that same exact position that you would release a flip change up, for example, which is why they're losing spin and speed. Because think about what the purpose of a change up is. Not a heck of a lot of spin and slower speeds. And I would slow these videos down and the common denominator that I would see in these pictures is their hands all looked like this when they were delivering as opposed to this. Again, whip and wrist snap is so important in creating spin and creating speed. So it's really, really, really important to make sure that we're leading from that elbow for as long as possible, getting that quick forward and upward wrist snap by that front hip and extending outwards. Many times pitchers who throw the flip change up or the peel drop will experience this issue. And it's really, really important for them to kind of go back to basics and isolate that lower arm action. So they start feeling the difference between this and this. We've got a ton of whip and snap drills on Fast Pitch Power Plus. So make sure you guys check that out. I would love to hear if you guys have experienced this or seen it as you know, coaches or pitchers are seeing it in other pitchers and how you've seen that it's effect, affected the pitch. I've got some more videos coming your way and I'll talk to you guys next time.